Howdy all. Well, I run these Mercedes 190 models for about 25 years. This is the third one that I've had in quarter of a century here in Wales in the UK. This one uh, is a two litre 190E with the injection engine. It was registered in 1991, so it makes it around about 32 years old. Now the best thing to do when buying a, a second hand 190 is to start replacing some of the parts, the components. Uh, if the mileage is about just over 100,000, and this one was about 105,000 in 32 years, then the first thing I looked at was to change the spark plug leads and of course the spark plugs, then the distributor cap and the roto arm. Also checking the air filter and uh, replacing all of them really. That comes to around about 70 quid in this present day. So if you can do it yourself, you can do it yourself, that's great. And uh, Sometimes you get starting problems with these 190s if they've done a certain mileage and they might not have been serviced regularly. So with this one we had a starting problem when I bought it. You'd have to turn it over about 10 times before it clicked in. So the accumulator uh, at the side of the fuel pump underneath the car, at the back of the car, along with the fuel filter, I changed them, three of them. And uh, the accumulator is the most expensive and uh, a genuine Merc is about 200 quid for the accumulator, but it pressurizes the fuel. And what happens, the diaphragm goes in the uh, accumulator. And if, if the car's done over 100,000, that you can guarantee the accumulator is going to be a bit dodgy uh, on most of them because of the mileage. So you need a good fuel pressure to get up into the engine. So then it, the pump pumps it up, up to the front of the car. And so make sure you change definitely the fuel filter and the fuel pump at a certain mileage. And uh, you shouldn't have any problems then with starting, what have you. I also changed the injectors, there's four injectors. Uh, that came to about 230 quid for the four injection injectors on the injection engine and you tend to find also that water pumps after about between 18 and 100,000 miles they wear out the bearing goes in them and they might start leaking change that as well uh, water pump 40 or 50 quid and also that you should change the thermostat and the auxiliary serpentine belt along with it the thermostat you should change twice uh, in a hundred thousand miles and the auxiliary belt but between 30 and 40 thousand miles so you'll be changing those quite often if you keep the car anyhow the mercedes-benz 190e is one of the best cars ever produced in the world it was uh, engineered to a high spec very robust and like I say I've had three models in 25 years the first one was a, a Stromberg carburetor model 2 litre uh, CD175 carburetor and the other two uh, one was a 1.8 engine a white one and uh, that was also inject that was an injection along with this one which is the two litre. So I've run this one now for about three years and uh, all the parts that I've mentioned, the components I've changed on this. I've got a very good uh, mechanic, Spateri, Phil Spateri, who's a Mercedes specialist, half the price of the main dealer, of course, and any bigger jobs, he, he, he does all that, you know. I would also change the alternator so if you don't have a service history with a car, 
uh, definitely change the alternator and the battery check the battery then you should have a decent car which will if you take care when you take care of it it'll take care of you and uh, do oil services about every six and a half to seven thousand miles change the filter as well of course and you shouldn't go wrong so i hope you've enjoyed this blog today on the mercedes 190e classic car you won't go far wrong if you uh, look after them thank you very much for listening and uh, see you soon